Welcome to Crack and Co, the board game channel where every video is 10 minutes or less guaranteed. And today, I want to show you the five games I absolutely have to play in the next week or two. You see, I have a little pocket of time coming up where I'm going to have a few days off. And I am picking out games that I intend, ne'er need, ne'er desperately want to get to the table within that pocket of time, within that time frame. And uh, I've got five that, that will hit the table. They will. I promise. First is going to be Resist. It is a little game that I backed on GameFound, I believe. Uh, it's a one-player solo game only. And I don't know too much about it. I just know that it looked insanely interesting and insanely compelling to me. I love the artwork. I love the style. I think little solo games like this are really compelling. The back of the box says, after the Spanish Civil War group of loyalists to the Republic, known for Maquis, continue their fight for democracy and freedom. Uh, this is coming from the same creators, I believe, that made uh, Marquis, Salt and Pepper Games, um, which Marquis is a lovely little solo game as well, and so Resist had to get onto my list. I just got in. Mutant Genesis from Marvel Champions. Marvel Champions is probably my single favorite uh, living card game in existence right now. I love customizing the character packs. I have not played it as much as I should, and now that we have another expansion that has come in, I just need to go ahead and find the time to dig into this and dig into this fast. I want to be able to talk about it and cover it on the channel or do little strategy guides and character pack updates here in Quack & Co. Not entirely sure yet, but I am insanely excited. We have... Oathsworn. Oathsworn is a game Sheer and I have been playing through off camera, uh, but this week is going to start our official campaign on camera, which we're very excited about. We're enjoying the heck out of the game, uh, and, and we're excited to show this off. The creatures and the way that the story starts to unfold is absolutely mind-blowing. We are playing uh, not through the campaign book, but through the scenario guides and through the, uh, the actual uh, not quick start, but the uh, the more expedited version of the story arc. And so uh, that's what we'll be showing to you here on camera as well. And let me just say, we've handled some fights well. And we've also been decimated by a few things in the game. So, might be worth staying tuned for. Just maybe. The next thing that I will be diving through is going to be... Vampire the Masquerade Chapters. Now, we have already started digging into this. I played the prototype back in the day. This game has some of the best interactive, conversational, uh, RPG elements that I've ever found in a board game, and the amount of words and text and storybooks in here is mind-blowing. Vampire the Masquerade Chapters is going to be hitting the, the table. I'm planning on starting by playing through all of the character profiles, the like six prologues or nine prologues they have, and then seeing where we go from there. I want to start cutting in to the main core game, watch the story unfold, and bring you all coverage throughout October. We're going to have some gameplay, depending on the amount of interest and level of engagement we have on those videos. We'll continue escalating, continue bringing you more content. And then finally, we just got in our copy of ISS Vanguard, probably... I mean, it's got to be in the top three most anticipated for this year, if I'd paid attention to what was coming in. Uh, I am insanely excited to start digging through this. I think West and I are going to actually do this campaign, so it might be slightly more than uh, a week um, before we actually dig into this together, but I will be reading the rulebook. I'll be setting up the prologue mission. I will prepare it, be preparing ourselves for an exploration and a journey like you've never seen before in a board game. If you all watched that original uh, video that I did with Alex back in the day of the prototype where we got decimated, where we got annihilated, where uh, I killed an entire organic civilization of creatures, uh, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. So these are the five games that I absolutely will be playing over the course of the next week, week and a half-ish. What do you want to hear coverage or feedback on? What are you the most excited about? And what yourselves are you going to be making sure you get to the table? What are you playing in the next week or two? And make a commitment to it. Like, lock it down. I don't know. Put the rule book on your face until you read it. It's not a good plan. It's early. I'm tired. 
And I should go start reading through these rule books because there's three campaign games here uh, and uh, four campaign games here. That's a lot of gameplay to do. Bye.